Mark 454 Class 2 Personal Selling Using Communication Skills to Build Relationships Sending Verbal Messages Effective Use of Words Characteristics of Words Using Effective Words Painting Word Pictures Tailoring Words to the Customer Use Positive Not Negative Words Don't say Cost or Price Say benefit or value. Don't say down payment, you can say deposit. Don't say contract, you can say arrangement. Instead of saying buy, use invest. Instead of using sell, you can say move. Instead of sign, agree or accept. Instead of using the word deal, better agreement or arrangement or commitment. Instead of saying problem, you can say question, objection, you can use the word question. It's, it's, instead of saying customer, you can use the word partner. Instead of saying cheaper, which would mean uh, or associated with bad quality, you can say more, more beneficial, competitive, or more affordable. Appointment. Instead of using appointment, say invitation or interview. Instead of using prospect, you can use future or potential customer or potential buyer. Instead of saying commission, you can use incentive or reward. Voice characteristics, speech rate, loudness, inflection, articulation. Asking questions. Encourage full responses. Space out your questions. Ask short, simple questions. Avoid leading questions. Maintain, use questions to maintain the flow of information. Listening to verbal communications from customers. Active listening, repeating information, restating or rephrasing information, clarifying information, Summarizing conversation, tolerating silences, concentrating on the ideas being communicated. Reasons for listening. Clears the air. Let's someone get a problem off their chest. Learning. Help speaker solve a problem. Stimulates speaker. Involves speaker in conversation, leads to mutual problem solving, gives, gives you a chance to think. Difference between good and bad listeners. Bad, listener, bad listeners tunes out boring material. Instead, a good listener tune, tunes out interesting material. Bad listener tunes out poor communication. Good listener tunes out good communication or excellent communication. Bad listener argues. Good listener give reasons or explains things. Bad listener listens for facts. Good listener I'm not sure about this one. Bad listener takes many notes. Good listener concentrates and use the, use, uses the, the pink advice on perspective taking. Bad listener fakes attention. Good listener has a natural genuine attention, demonstrates ge genuine attention. Bad listener distracted Easily, good listener always paying attention. Bad listener resists difficult material. The good listener analyzes questions and tries to look for solutions. Bad listener reacts to emotional words. The good listener empathizes with emotional words. Reading nonverbal messages from customers. 
body language, body angle, face, arms, hands, legs, body language patterns, detecting hidden customer emotions and feelings, sending messages with nonverbal communications, using body language, face, eye contact, hand movement, posture, and body movements, matching the customer's communication style, patterns of non-verbal reactions, positive signals, uncrossed arms and legs, negative signals, crossed arms or legs, positive signal, leaning forward, negative signal, leaning backward or turned, positive signals, smiling or pleasant expression, negative, furrowed brow, First lips frowning. Positive signal nodding. Negative signals furrowed brow, pursued lips. First lips frowning. Positive signals contemplative posture. Negative signals shaking head. Positive signals eye contact. Negative signals, fidgeting, distracted. Positive signals, animated, excited reaction. Negative signals, no eye contact. Little change in expression. Little change in expression. Role of space and physical contact in communication. Distance during interactions. Intimate zone from 0 to 2 feet. Personal zone 2 to 4 feet. Social zone 4 to 12 feet. Public zone beyond 12 feet. And the extreme is touching. Appearance match the customer's dress. Casual dress codes. Hints for men and hints for women. Communicating in a high technology environment. Email, mobile phones, texting, faxing, social websites such as Facebook, and tweeting. Those are uses of social media.